A number of key staff at Al Jazeera's Arabic channel have resigned over the television station's coverage of the Syrian conflict. Those who left accused the Qatari-owned network of politicising news and of bias against President Assad. Our correspondent Paula Slear has more. We're receiving information now about the reported resignations of key employees in Al Jazeera's Beirut office and they are claiming that the channel has a very provocative stance and has been involved in agenda setting biased reporting. These resignations include the managing director, the correspondent and the producer and specific reports that we are hearing, particularly from the correspondent, is that Al Jazeera refused to publish pictures of armed fighters clashing with the Syrian army and in addition also also ignored a referendum on a new constitution in Syria. By comparison, the channel's coverage of events in Bahrain was minimal. It, it has practically ignored what has been happening there. In Libya, we are now receiving some kind of leaked information that the channel was involved in fake coverage and setups. And as you can well imagine, this is sending alarm bells to the international journalism agenda because Al Jazeera was set up as a channel that was a mouthpiece of freedom and change. It was supposed to be a channel that was a revolutionary voice. But increasingly, we have heard critics say that it has become a one-sided voice for Qatari's government's stance, particularly against the Syrian president Bashar Assad. And our viewers, many of them will remember that almost miraculously, that was the word that was used by critics, Last year, Al Jazeera was granted a license to broadcast in the United States, and this is after it was initially refused such licensing rights. And this has led many critics to say that this granting was because of the channel's change in terms of an agenda setting, that it is very much pushing the agenda of the Qatari and Western governments that are calling for military intervention in Syria. Al Jazeera's former Beirut bureau chief, Ghassan Ben Jeddo, resigned from the channel 11 months ago, citing what he claimed was a lack of professionalism and objectivity. He told RT he believes the Qatari station's reporting of the Arab Spring revolts was biased and political. I do believe that Al Jazeera and other channels were not balanced in dealing with the events. All are responsible. For instance, with respect to the events in Syria and Bahrain, we started to invite guests from America who only criticize the regime in Syria and support the regime in Bahrain, and people who justify NATO intervention. This is unacceptable. Because of the domination of the political agenda over these channels, their editorial policies were politically oriented. Frankly, the Arab coverage of the events in Libya and Syria was misleading and hid the truth. I say this frankly. Things are now unveiling about how some channels fabricated events, footage, guests, and so on. This is shameful. The audience have started to realize these fabrications and started to see a reality in some countries which is quite different from the reality pictured by these channels. Coming up later, ditching the euro. Find out how.